Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with part 112 of Final Fantasy Tactics, The War of the Lions, the PSP version, running on the PSTV. Hope you guys are all doing well. And in between episodes, I actually had the game crash on me which was unexpected, and um, I'd never seen it before, like, ever, and unfortunately it was as I was about to cast a Zodiac, actually, and some footage got lost, and it was kind of a mess, and I was like, you know, I should just reload, like, I don't have save data at the right spot. Because I was keeping my save data from before I go into Milan, uh, the Necro Hall of Milan, actually, because as soon as you go to Orban Monastery, you're actually kind of locked in to that position on that save file, like permanently. Which more on that later, but uh, so I'll explain here in a bit. But um, yeah, if you're towards the end of the game and you kind of want to. Know, go around, do the rest of the errands, uh, anything else, make sure to save before going into Orban Monastery. Thankfully, I was already in that habit, so I had this save file from before in Dorder, on the 29th of Scorpio, and as you guys know, time only passes when you go from one dot to another on the world map, so... The 30th of Scorpio was when I went into Orban Monastery and then got teleported to the Necro Hall of Milan. And um, yeah, so I just reloaded. I was like, you know what? If I'm just trying to win, it doesn't matter, like loot or anything like that. We'll just go in there and beat like four battles real quick. And then we'll be back at the point where we were at the end of the previous episode. So I did all that. Didn't take too long. And now we're here. So I'm going to save here. But I'm also going to... Actually, just in case, I'm going to save right here. Alright. And as per usual, I think we still got the... Oh, we didn't get it. The... what's it called? The the weapon I got at the end of the last episode, I didn't actually get it at the end of this one, so I guess it's not guaranteed. Um, I think maybe it's a reward for defeating all the units before defeating what's-his-name? But the Excalibur is almost as good, so I'm not really broken up about it, so... Uh, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and get started, because I don't think we really need to make any changes. Zerig was dealing really good damage, as was Ramza. Um, Sister Lily as a summoner, and Christiana as well. I gave her the Mirage Vest, which... Technically, I could get more damage out of her if I gave her a Wizard's Robe. But I don't really think it's necessary. I'd rather her have a little bit more speed. Um, she's already going to be dealing close to max damage, so... And Agrius, of course, with the Chaos Blade and her Holy Sword ability is just an absolute monster. Uh, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and get started. And this is going to be the final episode of the series, guys, so I hope you're excited for it. Um... My throat is a little bit sore from because I've been doing a lot of voices and stuff today. But uh, I had a lot of water. Um, been doing, you know, vocal like cool down exercises and stuff, so it should be okay. And it might actually help for some of the more gravelly characters. It's okay. Um, basically done recording after this episode for the day, so it'll be okay. I do have a stream tomorrow, but it 
should be fine. And just like the ending sequences for this game, it's so, so damn good. Like, and it's just some, there, there's going to be some stuff I'm going to get into, like, after the credits, like, kind of retrospective, here's a few, you know, whatever. But anyway, so we got full Marv down here, um, and Alma, who's uh, not doing so well. I do not understand. Why does Virgo not awaken? The spirit of the High Seraph lingers in this place, I am sure. What could be amiss? Mayhap you are not the vessel of Saint Ajora after all. No. No, it cannot be that. Virgo stirred in your presence. You must be the one. They have come. It is over, Falmarv. You will not rouse Virgo. End this. Release my sister. Of course. It's but a matter of blood. You see, do you not? She wants for blood. The angel of blood must slake her thirst ere she rise again. The land is drunk deep of blood in the chilly ants since Saint Ajora's death, yet still she covets more. So be it. Once more the world of light, there to seep oh there to steep the earth in blood sweet rain. <laughs> Worry not. You will not live to see the storm. Of course. I mean, at this point, like, bad guys turning into Lukavi is basically a trope. Like... <laughs> Hashmal, bringer of order. Angel of blood, in all things you I serve. No wine more deep, no searing coal more hot than this. The crimson blood for you I spill. Defeat Hashmal. Looks like it's time to hash it out. Uh, okay, alright. Okay. Um, I have no idea what he's gonna be doing. Uh, at least not exactly, because I think I tried to do this differently last time, and I'm pretty sure he's demon type, so yeah, hopefully he's gonna be very effective. Find? Oh, trying to cast stop on everybody? Dude, three out of... Son of a bitch. Does... Yeah, get fucked, nerd. Uh, does Asuna even fix stop? Stone, blind, confused, silence, berserk, toad, poison, sleep, immobilize, and disable. It does not. I guess I just have to wait.
Actually, yeah, maybe I should not move right next to him. I mean, this will probably drop him. Yeah, there he goes. My lord and master, still do not wake. Well, where... where am I? Alma... Ramza? Is it truly you? Far we've come to taste now of defeat, angel of blood. But you should rise, my life I gladly give. Ow. I am come once more. Oh my no! Oh! It was at the end of this mission I got the Ragnarok? Oh. <laughs> My bees. <laughs> spoilers. Accidental spoilers. <laughs> yeah, we'll just save on this one. Okay, so the Ragnarok was one of the weapons I failed to get in Midlight Steep, but it's pretty good. 24 and 20, so... I mean, it has a little bit more power than Excalibur, but not as much blocking power. But it does have the passive effect of Shell, so that's pretty cool, because... Honestly, the double haste thing was going to waste, so it didn't really matter. But, um, yeah, Zerig will make good use of that, so... And then... I think everything else is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Actually, it does kind of make it look like the airship is still flying, but I don't think that's the intention. I think there is a part where it comes to as kind of a cool effect, but anyway. What is this? What happens to me? Ooh. Please help me. Alma! Ramza! No, you cannot. You must not. No! I swear that's a sound effect from Gradius. Like. <laughs> You're right. I I will be. But Ajora must kill her quickly. Which I, I don't know about you guys, but I kinda thought Ajora was a guy. 
Although maybe Saint Ajora just took the body of a female because Alma was the host? I, I don't know. To thwart my coming, you would dare us say, No, it shall not be. Loyal minions, heed my call to me. Neither lord, nor serf. Ah, oh, yeah. Sexy demon lady. <laughs> Your defiance reaps you not but death's embrace. Defeat Ultima. Which, yeah, Alma's gonna have like a single HP, I think, but she'll be fine. I just need to pull aggro and make sure she's uh, not in danger, basically. For kicks and giggles, since we went through so much crap to go get it. And Zodiac. Ooh, that is. It. Ah, like 530-ish? Nine hundred. Damn, <laughs> Ramza. end to meet. I see it now. Too late. In you, his blood. My vanquisher in times long past. Not so soon shall I accept defeat. Self shall not escape my wrath. Suddenly, Zerg's attack looks, uh, kind of pathetic. You just stay back and stay safe. That is such a badass spell, though. I'm still kind of miffed. I didn't get to use it ever, but, you know, it's fine.
think this is a new track, too, if I'm not mistaken. Please don't crash this time. Alright, good, good. That was, uh... That was where it crashed last time, so... It was, like, right towards the beginning of the casting. just taking so much damage. Alright, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh, is he gonna try to attack Alma? Oh, damn. Cold-blooded. I mean, I'm assuming... Oh, she cast a three rays on herself. She'll be fine. Fuck, I don't have enough for holy... Um, back. Hell yeah. Blessings of the Great Father descend and guide your body's return to the earth. May the grace of Saint Azura lead Alma's soul to the eternal shores of paradise. There, she shall find peace. For Ram. Ram. She was so young. For all the children of the house to be taken at once, the gardens are cruel. And their youngest son, Ramza, denied even a burial. Such tragedy. For three centuries, House Beauvais stood, but no more. Ramza, Alma, forgive me. I'm late in paying my respects. 
I would have come sooner were not so many eyes upon me. Delita and Olivia are wed now. Common-born youth restores peace to the realm. And now, together with the princess, he forges a new kingdom. A tale of heroism not like to be soon forgotten. I believe Delita may just be the man you said. Pure of heart, in the end. When Valmafra revealed herself for an agent of Milan, he said it appeared as though he'd killed her, then let her run. I think he must have caught a glimpse of himself in her. A tool manipulated by Lord Fulmarv. My father did... Did he die bravely? I'll visit you again. Be at peace. Are you truly dead? I still cannot believe you are gone. After so much. <sighs> Could it be? Ramza, Alma, wait. They're alive. They're both of them alive. Thank you, Ramza. Ramza and her sister, his sister, were not seen again. Oran Durai was left to ponder the mark they had left on history's page. I know not what brings men joy, or what drives them to great deeds, of what legacies they hope to leave. I know less yet. But I do know this. The true hero of this tale was the man forgotten. Iran would spend the next half-decade assembling an account of all to which he had borne witness. His work complete, Iran presented this account to the Durai Papers before the Clemencian Council, then convened for the selection of a new High Confessor. However, the Church, fearing above all else the revelation of the truth, seized Iran as a heretic and burnt him at the stake. The pen that inked them forever stilled, the papers then lay hidden for long centuries, forgotten even by the church that had concealed them. But I have found the truth, and so lay it bare for all to see, that his deeds might guide generations yet to come, that his name might receive the honor it deserves. Raslam Durai, author of the Zodiac Brave story. That's it, everybody. That's the game. It's Final Fantasy Tactics, The War of the Lions. <sighs> Mizuno, Takechi, Sakaguchi, Man, Matsuno, Royuki Ito, Minigawa, Yoshida, Murata, like... Ito, Seguro, dude, like, Rada, Shiki, just legends. Every freaking developer on this game, like, incredible. Incredible. It's... I don't say this about a lot of games, guys, but this game is a masterpiece. Like, seriously. If... they ever do like a full-blown remake I really really hope that they do it kind of like 
use the cutscenes that they made for this version as a template. And then bam, you have an incredible looking game. And like, it's so faithful to like the concept art and just like the character art and like, it's so good. It's so good. Like, I've shouted him out before, but... The artists who, like, made the key art for this game... It's... It's impeccable. Like, in the fact that... I mean, it was in the heyday. It was the golden era of Square. It was SquareSoft at the time. 1997, man. Like, yeah, the late 90s. They were making some of the best RPGs. Like, period. Yeah, Yoshida, Akihiko Yoshida, amazing. And Romzo was played by Phil M Lamar. I did not know that. Like... It's just incredible. Yeah, the movie section, okay. Kamikaze Duga? Designer, conceptual animator, Mizuno. Yeah, they did such a great job. Pull to win, again. Those guys, like, amazing localizers. the music dude like everybody on the sound team they did such a great job it's like I could probably skip these credits but I'm not going to like they they came together and made something truly special like And this version, man, like... Yeah, I know the PS1 version has, like, a couple of things that are, like, slightly quote-unquote better, especially if you're trying to speedrun the game. But overall, as an RPG, I would much rather play this game. 
All Final Fantasy 12 staff, All Final Fantasy Tactics A2 staff. Yeah. Like. And All Final Fantasy Tactics staff, yeah. Because, I mean, this was. this was that time. Like. They had. incredible anniversary games. Like. Whenever Final Fantasy, like, big Final Fantasy games had, like, an anniversary, they would celebrate it. And have it out, like, for the anniversary, you know? Oh, yeah, there's a little bit more. Sultania Castle, right? So this was the 10th anniversary. The 20th anniversary games on the PSP were also incredible. 1 through 4, just super. Just incredibly good. King Delita. Up his own ass much? I thought I might find you here. Everyone has been looking for you. Today's your birthday, is it not? I brought you... Uh, Olivia? Could you, you, you used them, and all the others. Someday you'll just cast me aside, just as you did him. Not cool, dude. I guess she just stabbed you, but y you had it coming. And I'm assuming she meant like him, like, Ramza, like you just use him, and she thinks, you know, they all think he's dead, so. Did you get your end in all of this, Ramza? I, I got this. Yeah, you gotta have, you gotta become king and have, a, you know, a child that is now ruling the realm or something, and... Unless they meant, like, a middleborn, maybe they didn't. And, like, a princess by his side? A anyway, it's... For Ivalis, it's kind of good news, because, like, I don't think Delatet would have made a good king, obviously. But they got a reset, essentially. So, Ivalis is saved, and, uh, you know, hopefully things will be better in the future. It does really suck, though. I mean, it, it, it's not surprising Avelia would have snapped eventually and just like... I mean, it seems like it would have been a better plan to just kill Delita in his sleep. You know? But, um... I mean, I'm assuming he dies. But it seems like Avelia was pretty much definitely dead. Anyway, game completion data will now be saved. Memory stick duo. Press X to proceed. It doesn't actually let you pick a save file because you can't like start. You can't load the completed save data. Like what it does is it just saves to the game itself. None of the save data specifically. So if you want to, like, restart, or if you want to, like, continue playing the game, even if you were like, oh, well, it probably, have, like, saved onto the most recent save data that I was just using, right? Well, if you load that, it's just before the final battle. He's still in the airship graveyard, so that's definitely not it. So basically what you have to do is um, load before you go to Orban Monastery. So anything you acquired after that point, it doesn't really carry over. But to be fair... doesn't 
there's not really a lot to do in the post game unless you want to do like the multiplayer like but then you'd have to have like another Vita basically somebody else with like a copy of the game um, or like you know if you're playing the physical version then on the PSP and again with somebody else that's the thing but I'm fairly sure the multiplayer doesn't work online. So I, I did see one post that's like, oh, we played online, blah, 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 blah. And I think with an emulator it's possible, but I don't think they actually implemented that into like how the Vita emulates PSP, which I don't think it is even emulation. I'm pretty sure it's like backwards compatibility basically could be wrong on that not entirely sure but um yeah psp games for the most part didn't support online multiplayer they had multiplayer wirelessly but only in like ad hoc mode so you could play with other people like in the same room basically but again like it's the PSP digital version on the Vita, so... Like, they should, like, 100% port this game, in my opinion. Like, because basically what it did, and I'll show you guys here real quick. Because this is the save file, like, right before I entered Orban Monastery here. So technically, I could go around and do the errands, and if I could do multiplayer, basically you go into the tavern, and you can do melee, see, via ad hoc mode, right? Melee is basically PvP, rendezvous is like co-op missions, which would be really, really cool, especially because once you beat the game once, you have access to four more rendezvous missions, which I'm pretty sure are these final four. Guarded Temple, Nightmares, Brave Story, and Illwind. But these are all completable in multiplayer. And it has PvP. Like, it could be super fun in multiplayer. And... Basically, you just have to get the ad hoc to work, like, as online. Which I'm pretty sure you can already do that in an emulator. So, yeah, you really don't even have to, um... Remaster or remake the game. You could just port it to, like, you know, Switch or something like that. Which would be in... It'd be fucking incredible. I would love that. Unfortunately... I'm not sure that's gonna happen. I think the only way they're going to re-release this is maybe in like another Final Fantasy collection, but they haven't done one of those since the PS1 days, I don't think. Or I guess if you count the Dawn of Souls release on Game Boy Advance, I think that was the most recent one, which was like 2000. Five, I want to say it was like Final Fantasy 1 and 2 um, but yeah like they haven't well I mean this was 2007 but it's not really multiple Final Fantasy games like basically what I mean is they had Final Fantasy Chronicles and Final Fantasy Anthology on the PS1 which was like Final Fantasy. One was one of them was Final Fantasy five and six, and the other one was Final Fantasy four and Chrono Trigger. But yeah, um, so anyway, it's an incredible game. Like this is episode one hundred and twelve. It's a lot of content, <laughs> and like there is some stuff I kind of glossed over. I mean, I, I still kind of covered all the content in the game, pretty much. Except for the multiplayer, obviously, because I can't do that. And, um... Yeah. But, but there's, like, grinding for certain items. Like, um, I didn't do any of that. There's... 
a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff. And I feel like... It's kind of a shame to just kind of leave it on, like, platforms that are basically dead, essentially. But... I don't know, like, I don't see a port really happening, but they could put it on the Classics catalog on PS4 and PS5. And if they could get the multiplayer to be working for, like, online, because I know those are emulation solutions, that could be one way to do it. And then that way, also basically sell it for, you know, a fair price. Because, I mean... You can, like, if you have a Vita or a PS3, I think, actually, I don't know if you can pick it up on PS3 and then download it on a Vita. I don't, I don't know if that works. But you can still get it on PSN. This version for like 10, I think maybe 15 bucks, which is a fantastic deal. Like, this is one of Squaresoft's finest games. Like, in my opinion, hands down, bar none. As far as my favorites go from this era and just like Squaresoft in general, I would say Fall Fantasy IX is still number one. But right under that, I would put this game. Like, it's, yeah, it's, it, it's that good. It's that good. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys, and that is also going to do it for this series. Thank you very much for being here. Greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm actually really, really glad I went back to... Actually, you know what? This is less... Let's get some more appropriate... Which one was the Chronicle one? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Chronicle music is great. I love it. Um... I mean, it's a little bit more brooding. Well, fun. Yeah, this is more appropriate. We have to save screen music. Um, but yeah, what was I gonna say about the thing? Oh, right. I actually already had this episode recorded, <laughs> um, but I was missing footage because of the game when it crashed and stuff. It just yeah. It wasn't great, so glad I went back and actually got all of that done. And uh, yeah, I would say this play, this playthrough, this series is now 100% complete, which I'm feeling really good about that. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. As per usual, uh, this series, as well as every other series I make here on this channel, is in a playlist. So if you guys ever want to binge the, you know, these episodes, like, you know, go through it again, that option is there. Um, it's going to be a very long playlist, like 100 hours-ish, um, roughly. But, um, yeah, we already did, well, before we get going, there's a few updates and a few things I want to go over. But first, a very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members, which at the time of recording is Novellus Draconis and Don Sabino. Thank you so much for checking out that join button, choosing to support the show a bit more directly. It greatly helps out and greatly appreciate it. And if you guys want to be incredibly awesome like these amazing people, check out the join button. We got two different tiers of membership here on the channel. It starts at three bucks a month. It's only 10 cents a day. It gets you into all the basic stuff including getting to vote on the series that get made here on this channel. Every series that I'm doing right now, and a lot of the previous ones were chosen by channel members via the members' choice polls. So it's a full seven days, it's once a month, so we literally have one going 25% of the time. And we already did the one for February, that was to determine the series that will be following this one. I need water. Water. My throat is just like... You're done recording for the day. Shut up. <laughs> I 
I'm like, no, I have to do the outro. I swear. Oh, that's better. Oh, man. Oh, that feels different. Why does that feel so different? Okay. So, um, the one for February was to decide the series that will be following this one in this time slot here in Retro Classics, here on the Farts and Crap Show. Uh, so that's already been decided by the time you guys are watching this. But the one for March is coming up that is going to be to select the series that will be following Horizon Forbidden West. So if you guys want to get in on that and you want to stay up to date on all stuff here on the channel, definitely keep an eye on the community tab. You can also try the bell. A lot of people I've talked to says it doesn't really work out for them. Or if you want to follow us on Twitter or join the Discord, I also post the updates over there as well. Uh, also, I also, 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 I always go over the updates here at the end of each video, so. But I do record these about a week ahead of time. So, if you guys want the up-to-date stuff, just know that if you're watching an episode towards the end, like, it's at the time of recording, so it may not be up-to-date, so keeping an eye on one of the other ways is usually a good way to make sure you have the up-to-date updates. So, uh, the Member's Choice poll for March is not scheduled yet. It's probably going to be towards the middle of the month. Um, maybe like the second or third week, possibly. But again, I don't know yet. So, as I'm recording this, it is still February. But yeah. Anyway. And apparently now my nose is dripping. Disgusting. And once again, I... Okay, whatever. Thank you for being here, guys. Greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this series, and until next time, take care, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. <laughs>